Attention! McCarthy Math Academy proudly presents the Math FSA Boot Camp Series. Hello everyone, I'm Miss McCarthy and I am so excited that you are here. are more than a test score. We don't want you stressing out about this test. We just want you to activate your greatness within. And you might be saying, But Miss McCarthy, listen, I know that math is your jam, but math and I, yeah, we're not really the best of friends. You may have struggled in the past, and you know what? Good. Struggle is necessary because struggle makes us stronger. If we go over something in these videos that you're like, hmm, that skill didn't quite click yet, I'm gonna send you to more videos to help you practice. Your teachers and I, we can expose you to all kinds of tools and strategies, but you have to choose to use them. You have to choose to own them. Imagine opening up that test and feeling so excited to throw down your best. This can be your reality. So now is the time that you need to activate the person you were born to be and let's do this. Are you ready to throw 100% focus, hustle, and heart into this right now? That's what I'm talking about, yes! Okay, let's go ahead and jump on into today's episode of the Math FSA Bootcamp Series. And <laughs> I almost forgot to say, uh, let me teach ya. What is happening third grade and welcome to the Math FSA Bootcamp Series. This is video number 18. So I'm hoping that you have the worksheet that you need for this video because it's time for you to throw down your best. And if you're saying, Miss McCarthy, I don't have the worksheet. What are you talking about? Go ahead and check the link below or somewhere around this video. That link will take you to my website where you can download the worksheet that you need, not only for this episode, but for the other episodes in the third grade Math FSA series. So go ahead throw down your best, and then come on back to check your work. All right, third grade, so let's look at number one, all right? If you've been following me, you know that first I like to identify and get a quick glimpse at the question and identify the question type. So I'm seeing four answer choices. What kind of question is this going to be? A multiple choice, that is correct. Let's read the question and mark it up now. It says the graph shows the length of branches that students in Miss Newton's class at Leesburg Elementary collected. Um, first of all, Miss Newton's class at Leesburg Elementary, what is up? I know that you all watch so many of my videos. I think you've watched How to Pass the Math FSA. Maybe you've seen some of the Math Misconception Mysteries, uh, McCarthy Math 155. I know that y'all have been watching. You must be honestly math superstars by now. And I wanna take this time to send you a special shout out. I know that you all are working super duper hard. I really respect that. Continue the hard work and know that I'm here to help you to the best of my ability. All right, that goes with everybody else though too watching. But Miss Newton's class, this problem is for you. So the graph shows the length of branches that students in Miss Newton's class at Leesburg Elementary collected. Um, by the way, super cool students that you are collecting branches. That sounds like fun. Sounds like a jolly good time. How many centimeters longer is the branch that Amaya found than the branch that Braylon found. Okay, so here we have Amaya, here we have Braylon. We also have Lily and Marcus popping up into the question who collected some branches. But for this particular question, we're focusing in on Amaya and Braylon. So how many centimeters longer is the one that Amaya did. So here we're comparing the two amounts, which means that we need to do which operation? Add, subtract, multiply, or divide. Yeah, we need to subtract them. Okay, so let's figure out how much Amaya had. So we've got all the way up to 50 centimeters. So Amaya's was 50 centimeters. Braylon, or Braylon, I'm sorry if I'm saying your name incorrectly. All right, so Braylon goes up in between 20 and 30. Well, what number comes right in between 20 and 30 is halfway? 25, right? 
This is halfway, so it's 25. And 50 minus 25, well, 0 minus 5, we need to regroup. Take 1 that becomes a 4, give 1 that becomes a 10. So 10 minus 5 is what? 5. And 4 minus 2 is what? 2. So Amaya's is 25 centimeters longer. What answer choice is that? It's A. Good job. Awesome sauce. Okay. That's how you do number one. Let's go ahead and take a look at number two. All right, the picture graph below shows the number of hours that Davis reads. Also, shout out to my buddy Davis. And this Davis knows that I'm talking about him. Hey Davis, what's going on, bud? All right, so the picture graph shows the number of hours that Davis reads. So down there, this is a picture graph, also known as a pictograph, either one. And what it says, it says match each scenario each scenario, those would be these down here, with the correct number of hours. Ah! You guys know that I love when I see rows and I see columns because it's a matching item question. Love matching item responses. So fun. So let's read the scenario. This says how many more, oh, how many more? How many more hours does Davis read during week three then week one. So we're comparing week three with week one. We're comparing again, which means that we need to subtract. How many hours did he read in week three? Let's go here. One, two, three, four. No, it's not four hours because I have to pay attention to the key. And it says that each circle equals six hours. So, so let me use the multiplication mashup to help me count. Hey, sixes, I just met ya. You're kind of crazy. 6, 12, and 18. 24. So week three has 24 hours. And week one has 6, 12, and 18. 18. So we have 24 in week three minus 18 in week one. When we subtract that out, four minus eight, I need to regroup. Take one that becomes a one. Give one that becomes 14. 14 minus eight. Pound out for eight. 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. How many is that? 6. And then 1 minus 1 is 0. So for this one, do I need to bubble in A, B, C, or D? Yeah, I need to bubble in with the one that matches with 6, which is C. All right, for this one, how much longer does Davis read during work? Work? <laughs> how much longer does Davis read during week 2? compared to week one. Again, we are comparing the two amounts, so we need to subtract. We're finding how much longer. So in week two, well, in week one, we know he read for 18 hours. Week two, he read for six, 12, and 18. 24 plus a half a one. 24 plus, well, what's half a six? Three, right? Three and three. So half of a circle must equal three. So that would be 20. Seven. So 27 for week two. Minus what for week one? 18. Good. And now seven minus eight. We need to regroup. Take one that becomes a one. Give one ten that becomes a 17. 17 minus eight. Found out for eight. Nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17 is nine and one minus one is zero. So which answer should we choose? The one that matches with nine, which is H. I don't know why I went up that high. H. <laughs> All right, third grade. So if you need to pause the video, maybe rewind it to make any adjustments to your work that you need to, please go ahead and take the time to take charge of your learning and do that now. Also, if you know that you need some more help with adding, subtracting, or even the picture graphs and bar graphs and all the representing data that we worked on today, I want you to check out the link for McCarthy Math 155 and specifically go to unit nine. Now you do have to become a member in order to see these videos, but everybody gets seven days for free as long as you sign up. So you should totally check this out. Tons of videos. It's called 155 because there's 155 videos for each grade level. And I have schools and districts and teachers and students and parents 
people using this all across the country as their daily math program or intervention. And they're emailing me all the time saying that McCarthy Math 155 is such a game changer. It's something that our students actually look forward to. I love that. So please check that out. I built this for you. Check it out. Um, I also want to point out the How to Pass the Math FSA series, which was one of the first series that I created on YouTube. And this was back when the FSA was a computer based test. It's not a computer based test anymore. It's actually a paper based test, which is why we're doing the problems on here. And all the problems that we're doing in the Math FSA Boot Camp series are paper based problems. Still, you should totally check out how to pass the Math FSA because it is standards based and it still provides excellent practice for the standards that you all need to be successful on this test. Check that out. Um, you heard me singing a little bit of the multiplication mashup, so I will make sure that I include that. If you have not all heard that already, please check out that link below. It is so fun to sing. Um, I even get emails from some teachers like Ms. Daughtry's class. I know Ms. Daughtry's class at Zellwood is like, is listening to the multiplication mashup nonstop. They love it. And there she says that they're getting so much better with their multiplication facts. So, so please go ahead and watch that. I promise you it will be a game changer for you as well. I'd love for you to follow me on Instagram and Facebook at McCarthy Math Academy. That way you can stay in the loop with everything that I'm releasing. You can also subscribe on YouTube. That way you're the first to know when I drop a new video. And if you're watching this on YouTube, if you could please take a quick like millisecond to smash that like button, not for me, but for my mission. You see, I'm on a mission to make math fun, to make it click and stick for as many third, fourth, and fifth graders as possible. So the more that you all smash that like button, the more students that I'm able to help. Because as a teacher, I just, it breaks my heart when I see students who struggle with math and I want to reach them. So thank you so much for doing that. You really are changing somebody's life. And before we go, I just want you to know that you were created for a purpose. That's right. You are the ones that we have been waiting for. So find your light and shine it bright. Watch out world because we have a whole new generation of world changers. That's you getting ready to step it up and make this world a better place. When you have the choice, choose kindness and you always have that choice. And oh my goodness, third grade, I cannot wait to see you on the next episode. I'll see you real soon.